All right, in other news, mental health apps, BetterHelp and Cerebral, they're facing big penalties for selling private information to TikTok, Facebook, and Snapchat. Yeah, this month, both of these apps have been in trouble. KPRC to health reporter Haley Hernandez joining us now. And Haley, this is just awful for folks who are relying on yeah, these apps for help. Definitely, a lot of people do rely on these apps. So this is something that people need to know about. I spoke with a therapist today who says this is predatory, it's unsafe, and it's disgusting because she says therapy sessions are even more vulnerable and private than a doctor visit about a medical issue. There are things that you say to your therapist that you don't say to anyone. So we are out here kind of expressing these vulnerabilities and having these online platforms take those vulnerabilities and selling them to market it back to us is very predatory. According to the Federal Trade Commission, BetterHelp will be required to pay $7.8 million for deceiving consumers after promising to keep sensitive personal data private. Secretly taking your most private conversations and selling them doesn't stop with them either. More recently, the app Cerebral is in trouble after admitting to its patients they've been using tracking technologies to share personal user data with third parties. In a world where we've become numb to privacy violations, licensed professional counselor Manahil Riaz says conversations with her patients are sacred and these companies should be held accountable. Ask yourself, um, am I comfortable with having my information being sold? And if the answer is yes, you are comfortable, then continue the services. But most people are not. And I would say to take action, meaning holding these companies accountable is really important which might mean to write out an email saying, you've breached my personal information, what are you doing about it, and what are my rights? Um, that's one way of holding them accountable. And the second way of holding them accountable is talking to a lawyer about what are my rights, what can I do about this? So also, Riaz wants you to realize the difference between mental health visits with a therapist like her over the phone or over the computer, which has become really common during the pandemic, and these tech apps that you download on your phone and then you access a therapist through their services. Riaz says that you have every right to ask if you're being recorded or if your therapist is using your information in any other way. In typical situations, they would not be unless you're using it through these apps. So we're definitely going to keep an eye on this because the Federal Trade Commission has issued a proposed order banning online counseling services from BetterHelp. And that's yeah. become such a popular option to do these things just through an app. It was phone. easy and yeah. it was cheap. It was accessible. They had odd hours that you could reach a therapist, right. weekends, mm -hmm. nights, early mornings. Right. Um, so it seemed like a really good answer for this mental health crisis that we're in. Um, but if they're being deceptive with their practices, then got to go back to square one. Yeah, uh, that's scary and angry. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. People should be outraged. Something to keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. Haley, thank you.